Hi, my name is Rosie Coronado and in today's video I would like to show you our CO Info Outlook solution for SAP Business One. CO Info Outlook is an integration from Boyum IT where you can do all your customer relation management uh, tasks in Outlook without logging into SAP Business One. You do not have to have the client installed, the SAP client, just as long the server is up running anywhere in the world. You are good to go. It provides, it provides instant access to essential information, which will increase sales growth and you will have happy customers. You can add business partners, you can see your KPIs, you can create activities, sales orders, quotes, etc. and so much more. The beauty is all your tasks are real time. As soon as you do any activity in CRM for Outlook, it flows back into your SAP Business One. For example, I have a sales employee traveling in the US and a he puts in or she puts in a sales order or a sales quote. Uh, we are uh, in CRM for Outlook. That document flows back into SAP right away and anybody who is in the headquarters no matter where as long the server is up running they can see the document right away and it also happens the other way around if anybody puts a, a document a sales order activity quote air invoice into SAP business one the document will show up in CRM for Outlook right away as an open document. So now let's go into the system and show it uh, to you how it works. So here is my CR, uh, here is my Outlook, and you see I have an email highlighted, and on top you see you have two more tabs. One is the uh, uh, business partner tab and one is my data tab and I will get to the my data tab, tab uh, in a little bit so CRM for Outlook recognizes Karsten's email address that he is a contact with Machina Corporation and it pulls up the business partner information if I go to a different email you will see it changes because Tim is a contact person with perimeter technologies and that's how you can have your business partner information right here uh, here on this banner so what can you see here if I click back here you see this is the business partner information kind of like what you're used to it in SAP business one there's your contacts and addresses there's my properties and so on if you click on the address right here, let's say you're traveling and you need to go and visit this customer the next day, it open up on the other screen, I'm pulling it over to this screen, you can go straight to Google Maps and you know where to go the next day. If you click on the phone number, you can make a phone call straight from here and use any of your applications here on your PC. Over here, you see that this that the sales years to date, the sales month to date for this business partner. And right here it shows you all the total documents for this business partner and it gives you some information how many, for example, on the sales opportunities, what you have lost, what you have closed, and so on, and what you have won. You see the outstanding balance right here. And on those bars you see the top three items sold for 2019 this goes up to top five items sold but I have only sold three items so far to this business partner what you see right here this is the uh, uh, contact person information and if I click here I can send a team an email like a standalone email not replying to this one and the email would uh, open up for me to send him a new email. What's the beauty is if you want to send an email maybe to somebody else from uh, uh, from his company, maybe to his um, to his manager 
and so on. You just switch it right here and you click on the envelope and now the emails would go, email would go to his manager. You see this is the title of this contact person and here is the phone number, which I don't have any for Marcus. Right here you can display the user-defined fields for, from the uh, contact person. Oops. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. This opened up my contact person information. Here you can display the user-defined fields from the contact person, which you also can do over here. You can display the user-defined fields for the business partner. And you just select the UDFs you want to display from here. And those are all your UDFs, in this case, from the business partner. If you want to uh, open up the contact person screen, you just click here like I just did earlier. Okay, So this is your business partner information screen. This is your contact person screen. And then you have this here. This is tracking. Tracking means like sticky notes. You want to get back to this email for whatever reason and you can track it. All you do is you have the email highlighted. You click tracking. And you will see right here on my sticky notes, I have two trackings now. And if I click on it, this is the email I want to track. And it says right here, hope all is well. Because it copies over the body of the email to your sticky note, I call it, to your tracking. And this is really a very good way that you need to go back to it for whatever reason. If you took care of it, you just click on it and you delete the tracking and you see it will change to one. You can create new activities, new service calls, sales opportunities, quotations and sales orders from here. You just go in here, let's go into sales order because this is our newest feature on the documents and you put in your due date just like what you're used to, what you're used to. Uh, in SAP Business One. Then you add your items, your quantities, and so on. I put the same item. Uh, and then you just click Save and Close. And again, this sales order will show up in SAP right away. As I mentioned earlier, uh, as long as the server is up somewhere in the world. okay, You do not have to have the client installed. Um, if you create an activity, for example, uh, if I click yes here, it also copies the email contents into my activity. You can create a meeting in Outlook. You can invite uh, people to this meeting. So you have the flexibility. Uh, just you know, say this is a meeting. It's a general meeting. It's about B1 usability package, print and delivery. Then you can invite participants. Okay, That's really very, very nice. You can link documents if you would like to. So you say, OK, this meeting is about a certain uh, uh, error invoice. And then you can attach the document, just like you're used to it in SAP Business One. And then you click Save and Close, and this will go straight into my Outlook calendar. I know I have a pretty old date, but also my invite screen will come up because I said I would like to invite other people, and I can email it to them. You can also go in here, and what you see here, you see all your open documents. Those are all the documents that are open for this business partner. This is, it's very important you close the old documents out, the old sales opportunities, the old sales quotations. But you can open up, for example, an old, uh, a sales quotation, an open sales quotation, and you have the flexibility to copy this over to a sales order, just like you're used to it in SAP Business One. So you can add lines, you can delete line, and then you click Save and Close. Very simple, very straightforward. Okay, so you can actually copy quotes to sales order here in uh, in CRM for Outlook. So then, right here you have reports. So if you have the B1 usability package also, which is a, a wonderful solution from Boyum IT, you can create your custom reports 
and you can uh, uh, pull them up from here. So this one, for example, those are the last 10 items I sold to this business partner. It's almost the same almost. But then if I go to a different uh, email and to a different business partner and I run the same reports, you see it's a little bit different because it looks at the business partner code. But you do need to have the B1 usability package to attach custom reports right here. And then I have one that gives me all the closed and open sales orders. And now I see all the open documents for Machina Corporation because I switched. I switched to a different email, a different contact person came out, which is linked to a different business partner. Okay, so maybe you have an email right here and nothing comes up because this person is not a contact person in SAP, in SAP Business One. But then you always can come in here and say, okay, this one is a contact person in SAP. And then you can, oops, I clicked off. Let's try this again. And then you can just go here and put in like three letters and then all the business partners with those three letters come up or you can create a new business partner straight from here and then you click OK and you see right away the business partner information and this is really nice let's say uh, uh, Protomax has a new employee, a new controller and they email you hey I'm the new controller for this company what do we owe you you have it right here how many invoices do we have open? You have it right here, three invoices. So you have everything at your fingertip. You can say, okay, this year you guys bought uh, 21,000 uh, worth of items, but you know, this month you really had a big credit and so on. So you have everything at your fingertips right here. Uh, also, one thing I want to show you on activities, we already did an activity, but if you have an attachment on an email and you have attachment set up um, for CRM for Outlook and you click on create activity, it will automatically, it will automatically attach the attachment from the email very nice a very nice feature so you have it all in one place okay it will attach the other thing is if you open up one of your uh, let's say a sales order I'm gonna open up a sales order here you can do on any document you can create an activity also which is very common you need to follow up or you want to create an activity uh, maybe to your sales employer or to a manager for whatever reason you can do that straight from the document also and the beauty is it links that document right away also so you have a lot of flexibility in here so this is all business partner related and you see right here I'm on, on, on Rosie on myself right now on an email and you see matches. So because I am a contact person in different uh, uh, business partners on different business partners so I can decide which business partner do I want to work with and I can pull it up right here. And the same happens if you have more than one database um, attached. It will show you if I'm a contact person in more than one database, it will give you the same option. Which database would you like to work in? Okay. So if you just want to find a business partner not related to any email or whatsoever, of course, you are able to do that. You just type in part of the name you look for is in this case this is a, a supplier and you see all the contact person here you see all the open items of course you can sort it you have a lot of flexibility right here uh, here you see all the trackings which this vendor doesn't have any you can create an activity for straight from here or you can create a add a contact to this vendor and you can just type it in like you most likely do a lot of times you can add uh, a contact from your outlook address book 
uh, you just pull up your address book and you can uh, choose a contact from there also. So if I go back out of here, so this you can add, uh, you can find a business partner, you have all the information over here, or you can create a new business partner. If I click add business partner, and you see right here, I have two databases connected. So which database do you want to create this new business partner? You choose your database, and then right here, you just add your business partner. And you see right here, you can add a customer, a leader, a supplier. Maybe some of the users don't have access to create a customer or a supplier, only leads. Yes, you can do that. We have our own authorization on our portal. Once you sign up for CRM for Outlook, you get a portal access and you can um, you can create user groups and you can decide which user can do what in CRM for Outlook. Okay, keep that in mind. So all this is business partner related, as you saw. But then I have this SAP My Data. This is me related, meaning I'm the user, I'm logging on, of course my email is linked, I'm a sales employee, and those are all my open sales quotations, all my open sales invoices, and so on. Those are my sales year to date, my sales a month to date, and those are all my total documents. What I like, you see right here, what's overdue? I can do a drop down, this is all overdue. It's a demo database, that's why you see so much. Or what is upcoming? I really like this, so I have an activity upcoming. And then there's my activities. And I can also attach my own reports. So if I click here, this gives me all the customers with their balances. Let's say I'm a manager, I wanna have all a list of all the customers and balances in my Outlook. Or you can also attach a graph report. It's not very pretty, but so instead of a, a data report, here is a graph report. You can do that also. So this is all me related. And you see if I click here, different business partners show up. Okay. So keep in mind, this is me related as a salesperson. This is customer related. Okay, and of course from here I can create an activity uh, and so on also. Okay, you can customize your view. Of course, let's say in my case I have purchasing visible, but maybe you have nothing to do with purchasing. Just uncheck it and click OK and uh, you have a little bit more room. Okay, so this is me related. My view, you can create your own views, and this is business partner related. Another thing here I want to show you on the settings is, as you saw when we create an activity here, I can create a, a, a meeting in Outlook, and I can invite people, and you can also uh, let CRM for Outlook know if I create an acti uh, um, activity, in my case a meeting, in SAP, I want it to synchronize it to my Outlook calendar. So you can do it vice versa. If you're somebody, it also goes into SAP and you do a meeting, you can sync it to your Outlook calendar also. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, session. Uh, it's really a, a great tool. And if you would like to download it uh, as a free trial, please do so. Go to our website. Uh, you can download this, a 20-day free, free trial. Try it out. Um, uh, use your own data. It makes so much more sense, but I know you won't be disappointed. It's a great product. Just imagine you don't have to VPN to, uh, to SAP all the time. You have everything you need at your fingertips uh, for your customer relationship management. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.